So my Lando Hunter mini kit has arrived and I'm not going to chat because I really want to open it. So I got it from Banggood. It was what, $80? And this is the best bit. Look at that. It's the shell. That's just tiny. So I'll open it up because I want to see it better. This is very cool. Look at that. How tiny. That's my hand, right? Look at this detail as well. Got this little. Got the door handle, the hinges, the, like the grill. They even got lights. Now look at these wheels. I shouldn't open everything because I'll get lost when I'm building it, but I want to look at all these bits. Look at these wheels. They are tiny. That is tiny. That is so cool. And the foams and the rim. Looks like you've got some tools here as well. Looks like you've got a screwdriver, some... That's good, some grease. Double-sided tape. Screwdriver. Bit of grease. What are these? Those are screws. All in little bags. Just good for organising. Got a tiny little Allen key. Like, that's a tiny Allen key for you. Really tiny. So, instructions. Let's look at the instructions. That looks pretty easy to follow, I reckon, actually. Anyway, let's get started and build this thing. Hey, that looks so cool. This is going to look awesome. Good project. Anyway, let's put these in order. I'm assuming A starts first, so we'll get A. And guess what's in bag A? You guessed it. More bags. This is all so tiny. Look at that. Eee, tiny little bits. Oh dear. That looks fiddly as. Two small ones are for the front. And the two big ones are for the back, I reckon. So we'll save those ones for later. These are tiny. I'm going to get my pliers. I'm going to build the tyres first, you know? That is a tiny tire. Man, that's tiny. Get the rims. So I built the diff, as you can see, and put grease on the inside and the washers and the ball bearings. So now I'm going to put the these pieces on. servo and the servo should come with the little servo horn so we'll get the horn out I've done that whole page now first whole page only took about 40 minutes so I've built the whole front diff it's got these little arms working now and then there's the back one as well which I was a bit worried before because it was all clunky so I just got the pliers and pulled the um, shaft out and it's nice and smooth now. So it hasn't been too hard so far. So now I'll make the links. I've got all the link ends here and all the little rods. And it's got here in millimetres the specific length it needs to be. And they will clip onto here and onto the chassis. And hey presto. So. So I finally finished the two diffs, took about two and a half hours, and I started the chassis, so I've done the first half. Bag C time. So let's see, in this bag. 
Lots of stuff. Chassis rails, which are metal. So we'll do the inside of the gearbox. I've got the motor, got the little plastic bag with the cogs in. There they are, very good quality. Yeah, that's the gearbox done. Now I need to put all these ball screws onto the chassis plate, I suppose you could call it, so that all the links on the diffs can connect to it. Okay, first actual problem. I was just about to click these links on when I realised that the little balls they clip onto sort of inside the wheel there. So I actually screwed them on the wrong way around. So they're supposed to go on the inside, but I screwed them on the outside. Because the front goes on the outside. So it's alright, it's, it's fixable, just a little bit of a hassle. Just shows you have to look at the picture very closely. It's very easy to make a mistake. Alright, here it goes. Also worked out what this is for. This is for doing up the wheel nuts, which is pretty cool. So this is probably going to be the funnest bit because I've completed the two chassis rails with all the bits attached, got the gearbox and the two diffs. So now it's just like clicking it all together and suddenly, boom, you have a whole complete car. And then you've got the shell and yeah. anyway, this will be the good bit. And boom, like I said, it's practically finished. You can see both chassis pieces are connected together and it turns, which is very cool. The only problem was when you mount the server on the chassis, because there's two ways of attaching it, on the diff or on the chassis, when I attached it you have to chop, as it says in the instructions, chop a piece of the servo off so it will fit and I used a sharp standing knife and I kind of chopped a bit too much off so it's only connected on one side but it still works might a bit of hot glue will fix that but it's looking very cool turns so now I just have to do the drive shafts and there's also the suspension which I need to do which is probably in bag D bag D is open little springs oh dear that was complicated. So I've done one suspension, three more to go, it's a little bit dodgy, you put the grease in the inside and yeah it's pretty cool, it's a bit fiddly, probably the fiddliest thing yet actually but I'll push through. If you've ever put together real remote control shocks then you'll know how hard that is but these are way 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 smaller, this is a comparison here look, see the size? Can you imagine how much harder it is? I think there's probably an upgrade part for these because these are a bit, a bit dodged. Oh, anyway, they'll work for the moment. All right, so I've finished the two drive shafts. 
and all four suspension, even though one's totally mounted. Now I can connect it up and it will probably drive around, which will be pretty super cool. So, let's do it. So, it's practically finished, just needs to be painted, and that's why I've got the spray paints. So, let's paint it. So we'll take the shell off, you just squeeze the back, and it pops out, that. Don't want to get this paint, so we'll move that out of the way. Yeah, so it'll be yellow on here, it'll have black fenders and a black roof, and then you stick in all the lights and fancy stuff, windscreen wipers and the windows and it will look very 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 cool so I've attached it to a stick so I don't spray myself looks cool now I just have to let it sit here and dry I suppose don't I so I painted it all yellow, but now I need to make the top black. So I've got the black spray paint and I've masked it all off with masking tape. So yeah, I'm ready to ready to paint.